there, tech fans. Colin here again with a brand new review of some of my favorite games that I've been getting into on this here, MetaQuest 3. Now, some of these games are available on the old MetaQuest series as well, but I have just been having an absolute blast with some of the games on this MetaQuest 3 with its enhanced quality, better haptic feedback, enhanced battery life, higher quality, everything's better about this headset. It's unbelievable experience. And these new games that I've already experienced in older generations of VR are just better to play even again a second time on here and there's so many new higher quality games being released all the time because this is a market that's being invested in by game developers every single day it is definitely on the rise and there are so many cool games to come out i just want to tell you guys of a few of my favorite puzzle games that i've been playing with this week and honestly a little bit more than this week these ones have definitely been a staple of my vr gameplay experience so one of the newer games that i've actually been enjoying specifically for the first time on this MetaQuest 3 is a story based puzzle game called The Fisherman's Tale. Now this is a game where you play as a puppet sized version of a fisherman living in a lighthouse that has to go to the top of the lighthouse and do his tasks as a fisherman living out by a lighthouse, a lighthouse keep rather, and it goes through this wonderful tale of a real life fisherman who owned this puppet and all of the cool puzzles and little tricks and stuff that lead you through this storyline. It's a whole lot of fun. There are physics mind bending puzzles that you can only get in a VR experience because you you're, you know, you're manipulating gravity or throwing something so far that it could go a mile away. It's super duper fun to try and figure out these puzzles when you're working so far out of your normal environment because anything's possible in here. So it's really a fun time and the narrative and the story and the visuals are beautifully woven into this game. Uh, seamlessly, honestly, a lot of the puzzle games kind of take a more linear approach where they're just showing you the puzzle. This one weaves narrative and artistry throughout it the entire time. It is a fantastic experience that I think anybody who's into puzzles and VR will definitely get some enjoyment out of it. If you're not so much into the story narrative, but you're into more, more so sort of an arcade style puzzle game, maybe one that you would play on your phone, you can rest assured because a classic fan favorite from the mobile genre, we've got Angry Birds here alive on the, on the VR system. So you've got real slingshots with little tiny birds in them that you can pull back, aiming at a center little arena, releasing that and shooting your, your Angry Bird just like you would on the mobile phone, except you're in this VR environment where you can see the castle in front of you on a little table it's incredibly cool and it's a whole lot of fun to play and it's incredibly easy to pick up as well it's a great game for vr beginners because all you have to do is pretend like you're pulling back a slingshot it's the easiest motion and it's so intuitive as well you can shoot and just try and hit the little guys on the um on the different types of the tower pillars and stuff like that it really is a lot of fun to shoot those birds i'm not gonna lie as well as that they've also got some spooky puzzle games five nights at freddy's makes its appearance on this headset as well so if you're looking to try and get some frights while you're solving puzzles this headset has it for you five nights at freddy's in vr is absolutely terrifying and the movie just came out so it is a whole lot of fun to play on here because everybody knows about it it's relevant and a new dlc actually just came out recently for that game that i've yet to play but i bet it's going to be pretty spooky and on top of that, there's also a whole lot of other games where like there's sorts of like bomb defusal games where it's not just a single player experience where in the real world you have people with a bomb manual that you print out from the game's website and then the person in the headset has this, this big kind of uh, crazy device in front of them that they have to communicate information about this device to the people in the real world. And then those people in the real world have to solve puzzles to give you information to defuse this virtual bomb. It is an awesome party game and it is so much fun to divvy up all the jobs and do increasingly difficult bomb defusals. It is a whole lot of fun and that game is called Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. So that's a pretty good title for it because if you just keep talking you're going to get that information around. It is an awesome party game. So there is an incredible amount of variety when it comes to the, uh, to the different types of puzzle games you can enjoy on this headset and of course there's not just puzzle games i just wanted to give you guys a category to look into today there is a whole lot of variety when it comes to gaming on this headset the vr experience is unbelievable and honestly I just can't wait to get back to going to play some more games. I'm, I'm halfway through the Fisherman's Tale when I started filming this video and I can't think, I can't stop thinking about it. So I'm going to go get back in this headset and I hope you guys have much, much fun playing these games as I did. And uh, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later. Take care.